transformation of equations you know we can always form a new equation whose roots may be the neg negatives of the roots of a given equation so you have a given equation and roots of this given equation and then you are asked to find out a new equation given the condition that the roots of this new equation are negatives of the roots of the given equation okay or else we might be given the uh, we might be given roots of a given equation and we need to find out a new equation whose roots are reciprocal of the roots of a given equation or else they are k times of the roots of a given equation now this can be done by this transformation is carried out by taking by taking say a new variable by taking a new variable say y which equals to minus x y which equals to 1 by x y equals to kx because that's what is given to us in these three conditions so this is just an example of it and the transformed equation transformed equation will be in terms of will be in terms of y okay we are changing transforming the equation from x to y given a certain condition so for example let me just give you an example so add the beta gamma are roots of this cubic equation x cube minus bx square plus qx minus r equals to zero and we need to find the equation whose roots would be square of, of these previous roots. So alpha square, beta square, gamma square. So how would we go about it? Now we need to find the roots of uh, the roots of uh, we need to find the equation whose roots are square of alpha, beta, gamma, and alpha, beta, gamma are roots of x cube minus px square plus qx minus r equals to 0. So given to us is this equation and its roots which are alpha, beta, gamma and we need to find to find equation whose roots are the square of these. So alpha square, beta square, gamma square. Now take in this in this condition taking y equals to x square. Y equals to x square. Just just let us just take consider x y minus p y plus Q, uh, plus plus what do we have qx right so qx minus r equals to 0 so what have I done here just putting now putting putting this in previous equation so in, in place of x cube I will have xy in place of uh, x squared directly this becomes minus p y instead of px square. So here from here what we can do is just combine the x terms. So y plus qx minus py minus r equals to 0. So x becomes essentially r plus py upon y plus q. Right? That's what is my x. Now so I have y plus qx equals to py plus r squaring both the sides. What will we have? Squaring both the sides. What will we have? We will have y plus q whole square into x square equals to py plus r whole square okay so this will give us y plus q whole square into y equals to py plus r 
whole square. So you you see that there is no x term anymore here. There is no x term. This equation is in terms of y only and this will be the equation this will be the equation whose roots will be roots of this equation will be the square of previous so alpha square beta square gamma square so that's how we generally look into the transformation of any equation